Well guys, I've started something I can't stop now. Two weeks ago, I did my first ever wild camp. Tonight, I'm going to do a bivy and we're in the Surrey Hills. I'm actually a bit concerned because on the weather forecast, it was meant to just be hot and sunny tonight and I've got here and it's really gray and overcast and cloudy and windy. So I'm a bit worried that the storm predicted for tomorrow is coming into tonight and I'm just open air bivying. So we will see how that goes. It may not look like it with the grey sky and dark colours, but this day was actually the hottest day the UK has ever recorded, with temperatures reaching over 40 degrees. Seeing as I don't actually have my own bivy bag and instead just sleep on a tarp in my sleeping bag, I really need favourable conditions to be able to camp in this style and I wanted to make the most of the short weather window where this is possible. So I thought camping out in the warm and escaping from the sweltering heat of my bedroom at home seemed like a good idea, and so did my mum and my dog of course. So off we went. This is Leaf Hill and it's the highest point in South East England. And uh, it's not very high. <laughs> we don't get very high down here in the South, but this is the highest point. You can see really far because the ground is, is flat, which is why this is the highest point and not very high. So you can see for miles and miles out. You know when you can see like it's raining in the distance because there's just kind of faint dark lines as the rain falling. I don't know if you can see, but I'm definitely seeing some of that in the distance. <laughs> and I think it's coming this way. Oh, and you can't see or feel, but I'm feeling a lot of raindrops right now <laughs> and a lot of concern in my chest. What have you found? I've found that you've been here before. Chloe. I've been here before. <laughs> my mum is the best. Yeah, you caught me. That was me. Yeah, that's the things I'd do for love, like graffiti on a tree. feel it yet though because they're so well protected. Well it's now raining pretty hard. Some rocks are even getting through the thick canopy. What do you reckon mum? <laughs> Don't know Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't forecast. I don't trust it now. <laughs> it's getting closer. Shall we evac now mum before it's not too late? <laughs> that was the thunderstorms predicted for tomorrow afternoon. Twelve miles away. Do we stick it out in the storm and rain? So we've decided to bail. At first we decided we'd move to camp in the woods, which you saw us try and set up for. But then the thunder came in and the rain got heavy and we thought, now nah, we're just going to call it quits. Of course we pack up and it's cleared up, although the rain keeps coming and going in patches and we can still hear the thunder, so it could go either way, but I think we're just going to call it quits. Actually, it's a double rainbow. You can see it a little bit on this. Does that mean good luck and that we should be staying? <laughs> <laughs> Cup of tea and banana cake in the rain. Can't beat it, eh, buds? This is what the Great British summer normally is. Not the 40 degrees we had today. Sometimes it's just as important to know when to bail as it is when to go for an adventure. It's still been an adventure. It's still been fun while it lasted. Take two. Take two. <laughs> it is uh, the Saturday 
of the same week of the Tuesday we originally tried to wild camp here on Leaf Hill and yeah that didn't go so well because the weather came in that wasn't predicted it was thunderstorms and rain and um, with me prepping out to bivy and us not really having the right equipment we just decided to call it quits but uh we don't call it quits totally we're back it's been a record-breaking heat wave week here in England and across much of Europe so uh, most of you live within that area, so I really hope that you found it okay and have got through it okay, same to you and your families. But while it is still warm, I just really feel like I should be making the most of being able to get out and camp. So we're back here again. I'm here with Mum and Buddy. They've got the tent. I'm going to be out again. And it should be a lovely time. This time, the weather felt like it was going to be on our side. The wind was low, the blue sky was out, and although it was still warm, it was a lot more comfortable than the scorching heat earlier in the week. We decided we'd scout around the hill to see if we could find a camp spot with a view, but we knew we could always return to the spot we'd tried to camp at a few days earlier, and so kept that one in our back pocket. Are you getting a sense of deja vu, Mum? <laughs> Just slightly. Just slightly. The views are a lot clearer this time though, which is nice. Actually, probably the clearest I've ever had it up here. Yeah. Every time I've come up here, it's always been forecasted to be nice and the weather's always turned. But today it's looking good. I mean, you're meant to be able to see, I feel like you're meant to be able to see London, but I have no sense of direction and London? I'm, not see, I'm not seeing London. I think I may have made that up. I think last time I said this was the highest point in South East England. I lied, accidentally. It's actually the second highest point in South East England, but it's the highest in Surrey. But it's still not that high. I think it's like 282 meters. That's oddly specific considering I don't know how tall it is, but I'll put it on screen. But yeah, for around here, it's pretty high and you can see for miles. So we did just walk down a bit from Leaf Hill Tower and the, the true highest point and look out. We were hoping to kind of find a, a space like on the edge of the hill where we might have a nice view. But um, yeah, it's all way too sloping. I'm not sure we'd be able to pitch the tent poles in the ground anyway. We've learned that from our last camp. <laughs> so I think we're actually just going to go back to the area where we had originally tried to camp on Tuesday because we know there's at least one place there that we can camp. So forest surroundings, that's fine. Every walk without fail, you find one, don't you, bud? Mm -hmm. He looks so happy with himself. <laughs> this shall be our campsite for tonight. Exactly the same spot as we tried to last time. We're very much finishing unfinished business. Oh yeah, I could <laughs> a little show. Actually, it doesn't look so bad, does it? Could be quite cozy. What do you reckon, bud? I'm not sure how, but we hadn't even clocked this little shelter on the Tuesday we'd originally planned to set up camp. I'd been planning just to lie outside where we were pitching the tent but this seemed a lot nicer, my own little ready-made outdoor bedroom. It wouldn't have been any good at keeping out wind or rain, but on a hot and dry evening, the holes in its walls were a blessing, letting in the cool evening air flow through and offering me a lovely view of my surroundings while still making me feel safe and cosy. As a child, I'd always eye up these kind of shelters and thought it would be fun to camp out in one, so it felt cool to honour my younger self and tick a childhood fantasy off the list. My view for tonight. You might not be able to see because it's quite dark, but this is my spot for tonight. Mum pointed it out and at first I thought she was joking, but actually it's the perfect spot. I wonder if someone slept here before because there's a little depression site and they've made, um, well, sticks and logs, I don't know what you call it. They've sheltered the site off anyway, 
So it's really cosy here, really nice. <laughs> I would love a fireball whiskey. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do realise. Let's come here. Welcome if you bring whiskey. Anyone's welcome. Oh, oh and a carrot for Buddy. Oh, Intoxicating. <laughs> you even brought the shot glasses. <laughs> Mother, you treat me. I think it'll cure my cough. It, it'll do something for you. It'll make you happier if nothing else. Cheers. You ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was a delayed hit. <coughs> Before I'd fallen asleep that night, I'd heard night jars and owls and a few humans playing music late at night. But come morning, it felt very quiet and still. Even the bird song wasn't that loud. It was nice to see our camp spot in the morning light, adding layers and depth of green and orange and browns to the dampened colours of the dark of night from when we arrived in the evening previous. I just woke up because it was this like droning buzzing sound almost kind of like a bee but like really loud and mechanical so it made me think I don't know if someone was flying a drone I don't know it's possible I mean there could be some nice sunrise shots at the moment didn't have the best night's sleep it took me ages to get off not sure why I just couldn't quite get comfortable turns out this depression is like it's a bit of a depression made the same error again I mean it's pretty it's pretty much that but still when you're trying to get to sleep you kind of feel every little bit of discomfort don't you um, and there was a lot of wind I don't know my mind just couldn't settle I don't think last night but I think I did get off in the end I think I probably got three off yeah three hours of sleep <laughs> which doesn't seem so bad <laughs> could be better could be worse the sun's just uh, poking through now, so that woke me up too. Oh, you can hear the drone again. Can you hear that through the camera? I ended up sleeping on the top. Can't... This is like a really good mattress in terms of um, protecting you from the cold of the ground. But, I don't know, it just feels really hard when I'm um, lying on it. And I feel like I like to splay out on my bed at home, so it makes me feel really constrained. I don't know, I just can never... My best night's sleeps have been I actually slept on yours when we were down in Arundel because Josh needed more wool. I slept really well on that and at net we had the air mattress so I could sleep. Did you actually out. blow it up in the end? Yeah, with, with my own lungs. <laughs> That was tiring. In video. Look, someone else had the same idea as us, but they probably had a... No, they didn't mind being hidden, no would have woken up to a better view than us, but potentially more disturbance. If that happens to be you, let me know. <laughs> so that's another camp done, another Vivi done. I feel quite sleep deprived this morning, to be honest, but 
that's half the deal of camping anyway. But despite that, I do also feel refreshed. There is something to sleeping out in the fresh air and just hearing natural noises and waking up naturally with the sun, which is lovely. I've been actually been doing a lot of camps with my mum recently because I am moving away from my hometown in just a matter of weeks. I won't tell you where yet, but I'm so excited and I think you're gonna really like where I'm going. It's a lot more wild and yeah, I won't say any more, I won't say any more, but that's why. So thank you so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. It was nearly a fail at first, but it's ended in a great success going camping again next week with my mum again so stay tuned for that one and I'll see you next time thank you for watching bye <coughs> really is heartburn not cut out for this since I quit uni not quit uni ended uni